Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be driving around and trying all of the newest fast food items. And to get the day started, we are at McDonald's because they just came out with their own pumpkin spice latte. I don't see it on the menu. I was just wondering if you happen to have your pumpkin spice latte. Okay, so, hold on, let me see. Okay. okay please, so, let me make sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, they may not have it. Yeah, we don't have that. I don't think we're gonna get it this year. Oh, okay, no worries. Do you have another fall exclusive coffee? We have the pumpkin pies though. Okay, let's let's just go ahead and get one of those then. I felt like I had to order something. It's so awkward driving through uh, drive through without getting something. <laughs> so I panicked. Don't you worry guys. I did have a backup plan just in case they didn't have it. And that means we are at Krispy Kreme because not only do they have a pumpkin spice latte I've never tried, but they also have some new donuts out. <laughs> Um, I was wondering if I could get um, your pumpkin spice latte, please. I'm sorry, we're at the pumpkin, um, uh, the pumpkin syrup. That's okay. Um, could I get the frozen caramel specialty latte instead? Okay. Um, just a small, please. A small. Okay. Anything else for you? Yes, I was wondering if I could get your new apple fritters, and I think that'll be it. Okay, I'll hop out ready for your calendar. Okay, thank you. Thank you. These are gonna be so good. I love apple fritters. Ooh, and the hot and ready sign is on. These are gonna be delicious. All right, we've had some bad luck with the pumpkin spice lattes today, but that's okay. I'd much rather have caramel. Um, how do you get the dog bandana? It's my mini knife. Can I get one? Yeah, of course. That'd be awesome, thank you. Uh, did I give you a straw? You did. Okay, you thank you so thank much. You so much. <laughs> You too. <laughs> this looks delicious. So this is apparently brand new to the menu that I didn't know about. So I'm actually way more excited to try this than I was the pumpkin spice latte. Well, what a start to the morning. <laughs> First of all, um, look how freaking cute this bandana is. This will be going on Apollo's neck later today. This looks so good. Look at that caramel drizzle. I've had their pumpkin spice wrap and it blew my socks off. So let's see how this one is. Ooh, oh I like that. It tastes like a coffee ice cream with caramel on top. We could stop the video right here and end on this. This is delicious. Mm. Sometimes things just work out the way they are meant to work out. All right, let's pivot back to McDonald's. <laughs> I know this pie is not new, but Tis the season. I remember at one point I had this and I didn't really like it. So let's see if I like it this year. I mean, it smells like a pumpkin pie. Mmm. I think I like the cream side more than the pumpkin side, but altogether, this is pretty good. Yeah, if you've never tried this, it's definitely worth trying, especially if you're a pumpkin pie person. All right, let's get into these. These boxes are always so hard to open. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at that perfection. Apple fritters are my love language, and these look so good. I am a little bit confused because they've always had apple fritters on their menu, but they say these are new. So, 
I'll be curious if they taste any different, but they say that these apple fritters are handmade with apple pie filling, diced apples, and plenty of cinnamon. This fritter is glazed to perfection. Well, I would say that the description is on point because you can truly see the apple chunks. Oh yeah, mm. yes, yes, a thousand times yes. They are different. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but there is apple pie filling on top, like incorporated into it. Their typical apple fritters are only the diced apples this is so good. I was a little bit of a skeptic thinking that they were just spinning like a new marketing thing. But no, these are different and these are delicious. Oh man. If you love apple fritters... You are going to love these. I changed my mind. We could end the video on this now. Perfection. I could seriously sit and eat all four of these, but we have a lot of food ahead of us, and the next place we're gonna go to, I'm definitely gonna need to save some room. I see everything I'm gonna get on the menu. Everybody hang tight, because this is gonna be a big order. Hi, how are you? <gasps> Have you tried the shake yet? Um, I don't like it. You don't like it? <laughs> why don't Why don't you I'm like so it? Sorry, I'm not really into pumpkins. Oh, uh, okay. So, well, thank you. Bye. <laughs> you guys, this is a massive bag of Jack in the Box. I want to start with the shake first. So, this is a pumpkin spice Oreo cookie shake. And y'all, they did not give me a straw. So, oh, oh, risky business. Oh, please don't spill, please don't spill. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my gosh, oh, this is such a bad idea. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I actually really like this. I really want to get down into the Oreo. First impressions, it tastes more like pumpkin than Oreo. So, oh my gosh, is that whipped cream in my hair? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Anyway, it tastes like a pumpkin ice cream. I don't get a whole lot of Oreo. So if you like pumpkin, you will definitely like this. Just make sure to ask for a straw next time. The branding, I just have to show you this. Who does that look like to you? You know who that looks like. Nightmare Before Christmas. That is absolutely adorable. Okay, before I get ahead of myself, what are we trying today? First thing we are going to get into is an item that they brought back. Here is the monster taco. Okay. Uh, okay. Looks pretty decent. Um, where do you even start? It just tastes like a taco. Mm. So what we have inside is their taco filling with American cheese, shredded lettuce, and their taco sauce. So I think it's called a monster taco simply because of how big the taco is. All right. So this is called the angry monster taco. This is the evil twin brother to the regular monster taco. I believe they called it angry because it's going to be very spicy. So 
Everybody pray for me. Okay, nothing spicy so far. Mmm. Oh. Oh, there's the spice. Oh, wow. Ooh, and it's just getting hotter. Oh, I think my soul just left my body. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> so you can see in the meat there is red. So I'm assuming that whatever that is, is what is making it so spicy. Cause the shell itself is not spicy. Even though it has some heat to it. I think I like the bad boy brother better. And that is just because there's just a little bit more flavor. The other one's more basic. Let's take a little spice break and pivot back to something sweet. So these are brand new these are called their little pumpkin croissant bites the description says that these croissants are filled with a sweet pumpkin filling and also joy so let's see if these bring us joy <gasps> oh my word <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh oh they're doughy i don't think they're supposed to be but this filling you guys it's delicious it's very sweet very sugary the filling is bringing me lots of feelings of joy mine are definitely undercooked which is super unfortunate because they're delicious i can only imagine how good they would be if they were fully cooked all the way highly recommend these i just hope that they are fully cooked for you when you try them. All right, what's next? I told you this was the big order. This item I have actually never heard of. This is called a Sando. I don't know what a Sando is, but the proper name is the Classic Chicken Sauced and Loaded Sando. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, well there's um, a french fries on that. So underneath all of those french fries, we will find crispy chicken strips, white cheese sauce, bacon crumbles, ranch, and Jack's good sauce on a brioche bun. All right, well, <laughs> oh, this is a college kid's dream. This is huge. Two chicken strips. I think I'm actually just gonna take a bite from the top. Please don't judge me. Okay, I was wondering how that was gonna work all together, but it actually works really, really well. It tastes like you're getting a chicken, whoops. <laughs> it tastes like you're getting a chicken sandwich between the chicken and the sauce, and then it just tastes like you put your french fries in the center. So it's like an entire meal in one bite. I actually really like it. It's very, very salty. I definitely would not be able to eat the entire thing without something sweet to break it up because this is definitely a salt bomb. Even though this was a lot of food, we've got another stop to make. All right, so I made a little stop at Dairy Queen because you guys actually were the ones that told me that they have a pumpkin pie blizzard and that I needed to try it. So, here we go. Okay, that's that's pretty decent. Um, you can definitely taste the pumpkin puree in it and I believe I think there's pieces of pie crust in there. Mmm. Really tastes like real pumpkin pie in an ice cream. Mmm. 
I do have to say, I don't think anything is going to compare to the pumpkin pie frosty I had at Wendy's a few weeks ago. And if you have not seen my review of that, I'm going to leave it right here for you guys to check out. I just want to say thank you so much for letting me be a part of your day. I love you guys very much and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.